Yeah, and also I can see 90% of, of you viewers are not subscribed to my YouTube channel. Look, if you like the content that's coming at you right now, please hit the subscription button, subscribe, hit the bell notification twice, and then welcome to the team. Welcome to Two Phones for Free YouTube channel and uh, more to come. All right, everyone. So I'm back again with the Razor Edge 5G on Verizon's network. Um, also, I want to remind you all, you don't have to have the contract or, yeah, contract on um, Verizon um, to use the Razor Edge with the 5G uh, network. Um, you can sign up for the prepaid. You can sign up for the prepay. Now, on, I know it says on the website it's out of stock, but all you guys got to do is just go to a Verizon store and say, hey, I want to see if the Razor Edge uh, 5G is available for, for Verizon's prepaid service. And it is. So, yeah, you can still use uh, the Razor Edge 5G on Verizon 5G Ultra Wideband Network and on the prepaid side, which means um, the data, the data alignment will be, I mean, it'll be limited, but it'll be less per month. And then you can always get discounts, you know, with Verizon's uh, network, you can always get discounts with prepaid services and things of that sort. So you won't get capped with like, you know, specific gigabytes per seconds meaning especially if you're doing remote play uh your xbox your playstation um steam things and that sort of like that um but yes you can actually use this handheld on uh you can actually use this handheld on uh verizon's uh prepaid uh service so just for you all that didn't know, and they do support eSIM uh, technology. So the Razor Edge 5G is eSIM supported um, for uh, the prepaid service for Verizon's 5G Ultra Wideband Network. Just to throw that out there, a lot of handhelds don't have that support. A lot of phones still don't have that support, but if you were skeptical about getting a Razer Edge 5G from Verizon, now you know you can even use it on the prepaid side of things and not always have it on the contract. But you still gotta, you know, you still gotta pay it off for however much they're charging for the device and controller and everything. You still gotta pay that off. Um and things and that sort of like that. So y'all let me know y'all thoughts in the comment section below. Would you like your boy two phones switching for gaming for free to do a video um, showing off the 5G ultra wideband capabilities on prepaid for the Razer Edge? Again, like I think the cheapest plan is like 35 bucks. That's nothing, right? That's nothing. But yeah, that just is for those that think you gotta stay with the contract or you gotta be on the 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 highest plan on Verizon to capitalize off the 5G ultra wideband connectivity and Wi-Fi 6. You don't. So, there you have it. Y'all leave me y'all thoughts in the comment section below. Um, yeah, what do you think? Um, hmm. I mean, Steam Deck doesn't have 5G. Rock Alley doesn't have 5G. You still need Wi-Fi connectivity for those. Um, I mean, truthfully, even with the Razer Edge, you don't need 5G. It's just the games that are available that you download that you want to play. Are they capable of offline connectivity? Are they capable to play without some internet connection like Badlands, uh, Among Us? Uh, I think, yeah, Minecraft, uh, Roblox, um, games like that. You don't need Wi Fi connectivity. Um, Jetson, uh, you got Cover Fire 
Asphalt 9, you don't need Wi-Fi to play those games, okay? Or 5G to play those games on the cloud or streaming or what have you, okay? But if you, you got other subscriptions, like I said, like PlayStation, Xbox, Steam, yep, you're going to need Wi-Fi. So, but if you don't need that, then you're still in good hands. But I was throwing it out there. This system has plenty of options. So y'all leave me y'all thoughts in the comment section below.